friends, thanks for watching. Today I am sharing with you my weekend cleaning routine and all of the things that I try to get done on a typical Saturday and Sunday. I am also trying out all of the Jaws cleaners in today's video as well to see how I enjoy using them. This video is not sponsored by Jaws, but I will be giving away their hardwood cleaner with two refills and three microfiber cloths to one of my lucky subscribers who comments on this video in the first 24 hours that it is up. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting our weekend cleaning routine on Saturday and typically on Saturday I do way more chores around the house than I would on Sunday. So we are starting out in the kitchen. I'm going to unload and reload the dishwasher, straighten up in here and then we are going to tackle bathrooms in just a little bit. If you have been following me for a while, you may notice that there is some new decor on the wall above my bar cart. I just did that the other day, and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of it over there, and I love how it turned out. Most of that stuff is from Target, either I got this year or in years past. You said goodbye like everything's gone. I'd love to know what you guys are doing while you're watching, so let me know in the comments below. Are you cleaning along with me today or are you sitting and relaxing as you watch? Definitely let me know what you're up to down below. Washing here is a super cool coffee grinder that I will have linked in my description box for any of you who like little kitchen gadgets. This is definitely not the easiest thing to use since you do have to grind the coffee by hand, but it is so fun and satisfying to have freshly made coffee from something that you did yourself. It actually tastes really good to have freshly ground coffee as well. It has been a great addition to my morning. <music> Also have to give a shout out to this cake stand because a lot of you guys have asked me on my Instagram before where I got it from and this was an Amazon purchase so I will link that in the description box to you guys as well. The best part about this cake stand is that I believe it can be turned into a punch bowl and a chip and dip bowl as well so it has so many different functions which I think is super cool. Now, I will soon make a move. first Jaws cleaner that I am trying is the granite cleaner and since I am doing this voiceover after I have already used the product I can for sure tell you that this granite cleaner is amazing. You guys know that I am a huge fan of the Method granite cleaner. This one smells super good and I actually think it does a better job of cleaning than the Method one. I can't even believe that I'm saying that. I also love that they sent these giant microfibers along with these products because I have so much more room to scrub away and definitely works really well on my counters. So 
So the next Jaws product that I'm trying is the kitchen cleaner and this can be used on so many different surfaces. So I decided to try it out on the stovetop here. And again, such a great product. You can see it in action that the stovetop is so much shinier after I use it. It works really, really well to get all those hard to reach spots. And I feel like it works as a great degreaser too because sometimes I get cooked on grease on this stovetop and it did a great job. Most of the time I do a heavy duty cleaner on my stovetop, but on days when I just want to wipe it down, this is going to be my go-to product. I also am so impressed with how it worked on my stainless steel appliances. I was expecting it to be streaky since it's not really a stainless steel cleaner, but I was very pleasantly surprised. back and look at how clean the kitchen was. It really doesn't stay like this for very long, especially on the weekends. I spend so much time in here cooking and baking, but I did have to stand back and just take it in. You can also see the guys outside working on the construction on the outside of the house, which I cannot wait to share with you guys very soon. But we are moving on to the bathroom and I am going to be using in this bathroom the disinfectant cleaner from Jaws. And just like any other disinfectant, you do wanna make sure after you spray it that you let it sit for a little while before before you come back and wipe it down. And I just noticed that this entire clip is out of focus, so enjoy me wiping down the countertops completely out of focus. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you, yeah. trying is the glass cleaner and I have to say that this product was really not any different than any other normal glass cleaner that I have tried. I will have to try it on maybe my phone or on my TV or something like that. Try it on some different surfaces to see how it works but this product wasn't any different than any other normal glass cleaner but what I love about these bottles is that you can really control how much that you spray out of them so you don't have to have a giant spray. You can just lightly squeeze the handle and and just a little bit of product comes out, which I really, really love. We are moving on to the toilet now, and I'm going back to my tried and true Clorox products for this. cleaning my shower but I did want to try out the shower daily cleaner and I just sprayed down the walls and then cleaned the tub off camera so you guys did not have to stare at my butt the entire time but I'm just gonna light a candle in the bathroom and then that is it and it definitely smelled so much better and looked way cleaner and love having a fresh bathroom for the weekend so that I can take lots of bubble baths and then we are moving on to something that I like to do on the weekends which is take inventory of all the things in my fridge my freezer and my pantry it really helps helps me to do the next thing, which is going over my meal plan, seeing if I have all the ingredients that I need for the week, because then that is the perfect time to go to the grocery store or make a list and have groceries delivered to the house. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at let me know in the comments how far in advance you like to meal plan. I usually like to meal plan at least two weeks out. And I say that because most of the time we buy our meat in bulk. And so it is way cheaper to buy a bunch at one time and then plan when we are going to eat those things. And because Jack and I have dinner together basically every night of the week, then it just makes it that much easier to get the things and eat the things that we wanna have. And so that's why I like to plan so far in advance. But let me know in the comments if you guys plan like one week at a time or a whole month at a time. I feel like some things just don't last that long. You can't have produce sitting in your fridge for that long. So let me know what you guys do down in the comments. 
Yeah, get that, you got a history. The last thing that I like to do on Saturdays is just go around and give the house a quick sweep. I know that I have a robot vacuum that does the majority of the work for me, but there are so many hard to reach places that he just can't get. So I will take the Swiffer around once or twice and just get some of those harder to reach places. And that is all that I like to do on a Saturday. I usually at this point will get ready for dinner and things like that. And then we are going to move on to Sunday next. Be good all the time. I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? You guessed it, Sunday starts out with cleaning my bed sheets. I have a friend over on Instagram who always does her bed sheets every single Sunday and she motivates me to stay on top of that schedule because I said in my last video that I am not very good about remembering when I have last done my bed sheets. So I am going to commit myself to doing them on Sundays, usually probably not every Sunday, maybe every other Sunday since I don't always need to do my sheets every single week. But on this particular Sunday, I remembered to get it done. But what about it? What about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. The other thing that I love doing on Sundays is mopping my floors and I always use my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate in my mop bucket to make this happen. And my floors are so dark, they don't really show that much dirt and so I have to stay on top of mopping because if I let it go for too long, you do not wanna see what the mop water looks like. So I am going to start making it a every Sunday task. Once a week, I am going to mop my floors down, especially because lately it has been so rainy and so we are constantly tracking in muddy shoes and things like that. I know that the construction doesn't help either. There have been little bits of dust everywhere. You'll see in a little bit, I'm going to vacuum and there is just dust everywhere from them banging on the walls. So this definitely needed to happen. It's been a while since we were good. So why we dragging now when we've been doing everything we could? All right, so I wanna see how many of you guys notice how many times I changed my hairstyle in this video, especially on this day. I guess I was just really tired or over my hair. I know that most of us have not been able to get haircuts or go to the salon, and I know I probably will not be going anytime soon, so we are just gonna have to make do with what we've got going on. watch my videos for a while you may notice that I have rearranged the living room a little bit and I am so happy to have a little bit more space here in the living room it just feels so much more open I would love to at some point get a new couch in here just so I can freshen up the space but until I can make that happen I just moved my love seat into another room that I am not using at the moment during all of this renovation and I moved this chair in here instead and I just love how much more space it gives to the room and it really didn't eliminate very much seating at all so it is definitely going to work for a good while are definitely laundry days too, not just bed sheets, but just laundry in general. And I know that I am very lucky right now while I'm home that I can do laundry pretty much any day of the week. But normally when I am working at school, I don't get to do laundry except for on the weekends. And so Sunday is definitely the day that I will play catch up on all of my laundry. So today I am just throwing in a load of jeans. Just vacuuming in the living room today. I had actually done the upstairs pretty recently, so I didn't need to do the upstairs carpets, but I will always vacuum if I'm going to mop as well. And I have been mopping and vacuuming a lot more lately, like I said, because of the construction. 
So I'm using the little attachment here on my vacuum to get some of the dirt and dust from around the fireplace. Since it is white, I just feel like it shows any little speck of dust, so I will vacuum it pretty frequently. And then I will go along the baseboards and things with this attachment as well, just to get up all of the dust. Every time they nail into the outside of my house, little bits of dust just fall from the ceiling and from the walls. I don't know where it all comes from, but I just have to stay on top of it until all of this is finished. I'm going to remake my bed and I'm sure you notice all of the piles of laundry on the floor. I did not get to all of them on this day. Honestly, I am so bad with laundry, which is sad because there's only one of me and I know so many of you who follow me are moms and you have way more laundry to do than I do. So I don't know how you guys stay on top of it because I certainly don't. So I need y'all's opinion because I know that this room and my office up here will probably be the next couple of rooms that get painted in this house. And so I want to know your opinion if you guys think that I should paint this room the same color as the downstairs or if I should paint my room a different color. My only problem with this room is that it does not get a ton of natural light because there are a lot of trees on the side of my house and I think it blocks most of the sunlight coming into the room. So I don't wanna go too dark on the color, but let me know what you guys think. I I was just thinking about keeping the whole house the same color scheme and then maybe going back later and doing some stenciling or some really fun temporary wallpaper but let me know if you guys have any paint colors that you guys love that you think that I would like as well The last thing I'm including in this video, I would not normally do every single Sunday, but I do always wipe down my kitchen table, but I wanted to show you guys my idea for a tablescape, especially if you are somebody who likes to host on Sundays, like a Sunday lunch or a Sunday dinner. I know it's been kind of hard and sad right now since we can't really do that, but I got some great things from Target, these hearth and hand chargers and plates from that Magnolia collection. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with it. I would just buy everything thing if I could if you guys did not watch my last video my target shop with me I said the same thing in that video as I was walking through the aisles I could have just put everything in my cart but um, most of the stuff that is going on this table is from that collection and I was just kind of playing around with how I wanted my table to look so that when I am at some point able to entertain again then I have a nice tablescape so you guys will see in just a second what the finished product looks like product looks like I definitely need to add a few more things I was thinking maybe cloth napkins would look nice I'm also not hundred percent sold on the white bowls I might want to get another bowl or plate for the tops of those blue plates but I love the centerpiece with the lemons I love the bright pop of color I just think that this looks so fun and inviting but that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment if you want to enter to win the jaws hardwood cleaner and the microfiber cloth and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Like